Hey guys, Andrew here. Just wanted to give a little update before the video. So we're trying this new thing called First Time where I have me and my girlfriend. Um, I give her the controller and then she plays these older video games because she's new to the whole scene and hasn't played like any of the classics. And I thought it'd be fun to A, record her interacting with these games for the first time and then also ask her some questions about it. This first episode is Ocarina of Time, a classic, one of the best games ever made. Um, Sadly, the capture device that we have over here is um, not great, or it is good, but it's not the best for older consoles, and I found out while editing that the whole gameplay is um, cuts frames, it's very shaky, it bounces up and down, whatever connection there was to it, it did not capture it well at all, so I apologize deeply about that in advance. Um, the novelty of this video was really her reaction to a lot of things, her uh, figuring things out, talking about things. Um, so I thought that that content was good and I wanted to keep that in and I wanted to publish that part of the video. Sadly, it's the gameplay part that is messed up. We'll try to go ahead and um, fix this in future iterations. Maybe we'll start using um, like newer consoles and play the emulators of those such as like the Wii U we'll use that next time for Ocarina of Time instead of actually trying to capture off of an N64 because it just wasn't working or the gameplay didn't record well at all so I'm sorry about that in advance I hope you still enjoy the video let us know what games you'd like to see in the future um yeah and enjoy the video thank you what's up guys that one Andrew here with Susan with Susan today and we're gonna try a new type of video it's called first time now it's gonna sound a little like a sexual innuendo but that's the point I'm here with my lovely partner Susan and I'm gonna be showing her some games from my childhood that she's never played Susan how many games have you beaten in your life uh, I think three three uh, until dawn you beat uh-huh you beat Detroit become human yeah and you beat to the moon yeah You've played... Yakuza. Or, oh, and you beat Yakuza Kiwami. So okay. you've beaten four games in your life, and if we try to count how many games you've actually played in your life, it might be like ten, yeah. right? And most of those are modern, newer games, kind of like The Last of Us, Animal Crossing. You've tried some Zelda games. you played about two hours of um, Twilight Princess, and then you played a little Link's Awakening. Yeah. But there's a lot of gaming that you haven't experienced, correct? Yep. So we're gonna go and kind of blast to the plat, blast to the past, and play through these older games that are pretty important and influential to me. And we're gonna see how you feel about playing all these. And the game that we're gonna start off with is Zelda: Ocarina of Time, one of my most favorite games of all time. Now we have the N64 hooked up to the capture card. This is authentic. She is holding this alien-looking device that she's never seen before. <laughs> What do you think about this controller? Um, it feels kind of weird and it looks kind of weird. Do you know how to hold it correctly? I think I know, but I don't know what this middle part's for. So, the actual correct way to hold Wait. it is your left hand is on the middle part and then your right hand's on the right side. What that is, is that the correct for? <laughs> Fun fact, the D-pad over here, this part on the left side, I think is used for a total of like two games. That's it. Every other game just uses this. So they made this huge hunking of a controller for almost no reason at all. And it's one of the weirdest controllers you're ever going to see, but it's a controller. It's actually one of the first controllers that ever have a joystick. It lets you do 3D movement. And the N64 is actually not the first console to have 3D because the Super Nintendo had some 3D games, but they're very rudimentary. Um, they're kind of like, you ever seen like 2D, 3D kind of, like where they're it, it kind of looks like 80s 3D, you know, they're all liney and stuff, and it looks weird. It doesn't look like real 3D. It's very empty. Well, anyways, this is like the first 3D console that Nintendo made. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and just jump right in. Go ahead and pick file 3. And you can name your character whatever you want. In canon, his name is Link. But if you want to name him Susan, if you want to name him... Huh? Huh? Hugh. You, all right. So this is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time featuring our hero, Hugh. 
go ahead and hit end and then hit A and we're gonna be greeted with a little cutscene right here at the beginning when you hit yes. So for these videos we're not sure how far or deep we're going into any of the games. It's kind of depending on how Susan feels about the game. If she's enthusiastic about it and wants to play through all of Ocarina of Time we are more than happy to let her do that. But I think the main purpose of this is to try out a lot of these games, see how they feel, how they evolved, how they devolved, and things like that. So you see that little green man over there? Yeah. That's Link, or Hugh, <laughs> in this universe. And he sadly does not have a fairy, yeah. even though all the other kids in the village do. Oh, why? I don't know. That's just something that we'll have to find out. Right now on screen, there's some dark things happening. Pretty spooky stuff. Sad music, scary music, raining. So there, that's Princess Zelda. I'm thinking for Ocarina of Time specifically, to really get the greatness of Ocarina of Time, we're going to have to at least do a few episodes on this and get past at least the first three dungeons. Yikes. Because... <laughs> This game, Ocarina of Time, um, that title actually has two meanings. Because the ocarina is a musical instrument, as you know, that is pretty important to this game. has to do with um, a lot of puzzle solving and um, a lot of key things happen with the ocarina. But also time itself, this game has time travel. Where you can move from adult Link and child Link back and forth. And later in the game, there are even some dungeons where you have to go in there as one aged Link, do some things, and then travel to another time, and those things have changed, and you go through the dungeon again. Boy with none of fairies in red, that means it's bad. It doesn't mean it's bad, it means it's important. A lot of games, um, even today, but a lot of games, especially back in the day, whenever things were important, they would highlight them, just to be like, hey, this is the important part of the um, sentence. And that could be for many reasons. Maybe it's because gamers are lazy and don't want to read everything. A lot of people just skip through the cuts, the cutscenes in the text. But if you have those things highlighted, they at least saw a boy without a fairy. Like, oh yeah, I don't have a fairy. That's right. But everything else, all the Shakespearean talk, doesn't really matter. It's kind of hard to watch. Like it hurts my eyes. <laughs> Are you talking about like, um... The graphics? The graphics, yeah. yeah. So, like I said before, this is um, authentic N64. We have the console set up right over here. And, uh, yeah, the graphics back then, this is as almost as primitive as you can get for 3D. There were some 3D games before this, but it's they were basically test games, like demos, tech demos. The N64 was like the first real full games hours of experience 3D, at least for Nintendo. Get up. Oh, such mm -hmm. a lazy boy. Look at that kid. Look at that lazy boy after you said lazy boy. Yeah. I've played this game a couple times. You know. I've played this opening quite a few times. Is that a fairy? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's it, not even fairy. His head's just flashy. Mm-hmm. So he's not um, a boy found a fairy. He has a fairy. And now he does. He has Navi. But before this, his whole life, he did not have a fairy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh, what did that do? Put away. Put away. That, puts the, that puts the fairy away. Oh. We. So how's it feel? Weird. Yeah? Yeah. Does it feel like, um, what was the last game you were playing before this? Last of Us? How does this feel compared to The Last of <laughs> Us? <laughs> um, well, it looks different, it feels different, things move different. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot more robotic and jagged, right? Mm -hmm. It's a lot more, um, obviously this doesn't look like real life at all. Yeah. Uh, that tree, you, you, it's a tree, but like it looks nothing like a real tree. And Fairy. those people... <laughs> Her laugh. Just 
She's very happy that you have a fairy. Yeah. You couldn't hear her laugh, could you? I couldn't, but like I said, I... Um, the way we have this set up is she has headphones directly plugged into the TV. Sadly, I cannot hear that. I just have headphones for the microphone. Um, we could, if we do this, like, more often, we could invest in a splitter and get, um, a splitter for the back of the TV, and that way, if we can both plug our headphones in. That'd be cool. Everyone knows that I don't have a fairy in my in outcast. Well, you've grown up here your whole life, and that was always a thing. Everyone had a fairy, except Hugh. <laughs> who I'll probably Hugh. forget his name. What does that say? Um, check it. So that text right there, that is Hylian text on the sign. And believe it or not, there are actual translations of that into English. Interesting. Like it is a made up language from this game. Um, what does this do? Or so you see the top right, where it says, where it says Navi. Navi. Yeah. Those yellow buttons are the yellow buttons on your controller up there, and that top one is the top yellow button. Oh. And whenever you get lost or something, Navi will kind of flash. Oh. And she will tell you where to go wait, or what you wait. need to do. So I need to go that way? So right now she said, you need to go talk to the great Deku tree. Woo! And just for the sake of the video and our sanity, I will tell you that the great Deku tree is the other way. Of you need to turn links right. Hugh's right. There you go. That way. That tree? No, no. Like, he's a grand tree. He has a face, too. It's through that passageway. Oh. Mr. No Fairy? What's business? Why do you need to know? Real man? Wow. Yeah, so this guy is notorious for being a giant jerk. Yeah, he's dissing on me. Mm-hmm. For no good reason. He's just kind of a maniac. It's because of his ears. They're just a little too pointy. <laughs> <laughs> like, he doesn't mind that they're pointy, but they're just like a little too pointy, yeah. where if he like nicks someone, there might be a little blood. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my eyes are leaking. In real life? Yeah. Are you blinking? Yeah, I am. Are you just so excited to play one of the greatest <gasps> Legend of Zelda games of all why, time? Why would... <laughs> So, he says, you need a okay. sword and a shield. Okay, well, who, ooh. So, you need to look around town, and there is a sword and a shield somewhere, either inside the tree houses, or in chest, or just around. Where is Z? ZL is on the back is right that there. That yeah. That locks on. Ooh, this to, I don't know how it's supposed to be. Oh, whoa, I rolled. Oh, can I jump? Um, there is no jump. He jumps on his own, so if you run up. <gasps> Look at that. Have I gone in yeah. here yet? No. Oh, I think the fairy wants me to come this way. Well, the fairy will um, fly over to points of interest. Oh. Oh, wait. Isn't this where I started? No. This is someone else's house. This is weird. Um, so what I'll do is I'll let you explore for a while. And then eventually, if you are having too much trouble, I will guide you. You'll probably have to constantly guide me because... That's all right. Directionally challenged, don't know where to go. When I was a child, I probably spent hours in this opening part alone looking for a sword and shield. Really? Yeah. That makes me feel better. You were probably like six, though. When I first played Ocarina of Time? Yeah. I don't know how old I was, because my father had an N64, like, when I was basically born. And Ocarina of Time came out in 1998, a year after I was born. So, like, it was there relatively my whole childhood. I couldn't tell you when I exactly had it. The one I actually remember playing the most, this is your house. You're, you've been in here. Oh, so it's not in here? No. You just told me where to go. Yeah, um... So go down, and you want to go to Link's right. That one area you went to at the beginning, when you went up the little slope, that's where the shield this is. This way? The other way. Up that slope to the left. Oh. Hey. Um, but yeah, the one I really remember playing was Majora's Mask. Like, I have vivid rem memories of the cartridge at my grandmother's house and playing it. And it had the holographic thing, and then when I moved, I lost it, and I was very sad. But then I bought it again, because... That's what you do when you lose things. 
you would replace them. Yeah. So you see that little hole right there in the wall? Yeah. If you ZL towards it and then walk in front of it. <laughs> okay, and let go ZL. So push up towards it and then press the blue button, A. He'll crawl down oh. in there. This is so weird. Everything's like the same color or shades, so it's hard to see. Mm -hmm. Also. And that's just the starting area because it's like a forest. Yeah. Um, there's a little maze here that you have to get through uh, to get to a chest, which oh. will have your first equipment. Ooh. So that right there was a rupee. Um, I think a, the, the oh, blue, no. the oh, blue no. one's worth five, I, I think, or I ten. Like I can't remember. I think it's five. Turn to see, but I can't. Nope. Um, oh, no. What was that? That was the boulder hitting you. What? What? Um... Yeah, so the N64 has a joystick, which was very revolutionary, but it did not have two joysticks like most consoles, yeah. which every console has today. And that right stick is used for the camera. Mm -hmm. They don't have that stick for this, so you have to use that ZL to, oh. to change the way you're looking a lot. But congrats, you found the sword. You're halfway there. <sighs> How long has it been? 15, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, and I found a sword, okay. Um, to equip your sword, go ahead and press start. That's the red button in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then right bumper. Right bumper again. Go over to your sword with the joystick. Press A. And you have the sword equipped. And go ahead and hit start to exit out. Okay. And now if you hit the green button, you have a sword. Ooh, look at that. It's going to come back this way. Ready? Dodge. Whoa, those are some pro maneuvers. Oh, yeah. There's Wait, another rupee. Yeah. You'll need money. Ah! <laughs> it scared me. Jumped out of nowhere. Um, so now for the shield, the shield is actually not in a chest like the sword it's not was. not in here, right? No, no, no. Um, the shield... There you go. Um, the shield is in the shop. There's a shop. You have to buy the shield. The oh, red roof is, one or the blue roof one? I don't remember. The I girl think was talking about red. different roofs. I don't know. I think it's oh, the red no. roof one. But the kicker is you need 40 rupees. Oh, so I have to get more? Yeah. If your bottom left of the screen, oh. it shows you how many. You have 12 right now. Is there any way to get it besides that maze? Um, yeah. So looking in tall grass, picking up rocks and throwing them. Um, cutting grass will find rupees. Sometimes they're just hidden around the world. What happens? Cutting grass. I'll cut grass. There's like one. A lawnmower. <laughs> uh, you cut grass with your sword. I know, but I'd be like a lawnmower. And also walking through tall grass. So like right down there. There's probably some hidden in there. And there's some rocks that you can pick up and throw, and they could be in there. Rocks? Just anywhere, little rocks. Do, 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 do. I'm kind of living in a state of anxiety, because when I was playing this in 64, it was randomly restarting sometimes. <laughs> And like I'm worried that it's just gonna like shut off. Where are we? Uh, oh, so important thing to save your game. Go ahead and hit the start button. Hit B. And hit A. That's how you save. It's that fast. Cool. So, what most people do is kind of habit is whenever they hit the pause button for anything, they just exit out. You hit B A, and then it's done. Okay. 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 Um, so see those grass, that grass right there? Yeah. You go ahead and cut that. There might be some. How do you, oh. Like that? I think so. Well, maybe because there's a person there I can't yeah, do Yeah, you can't <laughs> do that one. That's funny. Oh, look at that. Your health is restored from that big mean boulder. Cool, cool. Uh, that's a rock right there. So if you go up to the rock and then hit A. He will pick it up. And then, yep, there you go. 
Whee, and sometimes, nothing. And sometimes money falls out of it. Not all the time. It's the same with the grass. Um, money won't always fall out. Um, let's see. I believe that um, if you go turn left, so you see those little platforms over there These? to the right? These, yeah. Start at the edge and then just hop across them. Oh no. You gotta you gotta <laughs> land on the platforms. So I would line up with Z L. You're yeah. So turn the other way and then hit Z L. And that's kinda how you line up things. There you go. And then just run straight across. You should get money by doing that. Really? Like it'll give you like a five rupee the first time you do it. Why didn't oh. I jump that time? Uh, you're too close to the edge. You gotta you kind of get like a little running start. Okay. I'm gonna try it again just for good measure. Okay. I keep getting that rupee every time I come back. Wee, wee. Um, so there's some more rocks. Yeah. That you could try. Yeah. Watch out. I should be like in a competition. Our for friend this. Hugh is a big old buff. He can. Look. The other hey, fairy hey, guys. Hey, watch me. They I'll show you how to do it. Like that, genius. But Link is a. Uh, it's not Link. It's Hugh. Hugh Link is a big old buff. I should have probably just named him Link. I don't know why I was thinking. I knew this guy from Australia named Hugh. You know a guy from Australia named Hugh. Yeah, and, and he just named popped into my head. <laughs> is he small and green and doesn't have a fairy? Not at all, actually. <laughs> he has long hair. Does Link have long hair? Kind of. Um, kind of. In some iterations of Link, uh, he has long hair. I don't think it wants to give me any more from the rocks. Can I pick this one up? No. Aw. But he's gonna tell you how to do it. Pick it up! Pick it up! He made me pick up the rocks! Oh, oops. Go away. Um, you see up on that ledge, there's a blue ruby up there. To get there, turn around. So go that way. Nope, to the right. There you go. Right, right to that pillar. Good job. Uh, see that house to the right? Mm -hmm. See there's a little ramp to the left? So this is where it's important to line oh, up with no. CL. Like, you want to face them the right way, and then hit yeah, ZL. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, so I was going to say, um, the joystick, another great thing about it was, when you're pushing, um, when you're using a D-pad in older games and you just push it, you tended to only go one speed, because it's either you're hitting the button or you're not. With the joystick, if you slightly move it up, he'll move slower, and if you push it up all the way, he'll move faster. And that was a big... Um, Gameplay changer in um, ah! video games. I fell, but I got it. So what are you at now? Are you 36? There's actually one hidden one, so turn around and you can go ahead and go to the shop now. It's across those jumping platforms, and that red roofed one to to the, yeah that way, and go in that place with the red roof. Mm -hmm. This lady will probably want to talk to you first. Never mind, you skipped her. Speed running track, but to the right. So go to the right and go back there. There's actually a hidden coin back there. Got it. And now you have 41. So go ahead and talk to the dude behind the counter. He's gonna be like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is he doing squats? He's just trying to look up. He's uh. really short. The they don't believe in stools, but uh, push right on your joystick. And this is uh, to the right. And this is how all shops work. But you'll go ahead and hit the blue button on what you want to buy. Be like, yes, I want to buy it. And you got a Deku Shield. Congrats. You completed the first quest in the game. Get a sword and shield. It took a while. Yep. Not too bad, though. Uh, we don't have any money, so we don't need to buy anything else. And do you know how to equip it? Um, 
who hit is it start? Mm-hmm. And then how do you go down? Or oh. There you go. And look at that. You're ready to rock and roll. So let's go back to that big old jerk Mido. And show them what we got. Other way. This way? Mm -hmm. No. I'm directionally challenged. No. That'll he probably be a con constant in. in this series. Yeah. So, our friend Mido here, he's all big and tough. But he's gonna be like, what in the world? What's that? Good grief. Charlie oh, Brown. No. Toasty. Mm-hmm. <sighs> grumble, grumble. Oh no, I started holding the controller wrong. Yeah, it's not too uncomfortable, it's just really weird. Yeah. It's like a controller with a tumor ah. on the left side. So, uh, that's an enemy. Turn around. You can go ahead and try to use your sword to take him down. How do you... There you Did go. I do Good it? Good job. Oh. And he dropped an item. Ooh. So, what it's saying right there is there are many items in this game. Like, dozens of items. And how you use items are your sword will always be to B. And then um, A will always be the interact button. But if you hit start, you can go. So you have your stick right there, right? Mm -hmm. You have three directional pads for the yellow buttons. You have the left yellow, bottom yellow, and right yellow. Whatever item you have, you can set it to whichever arrow you choose. So for mm -hmm. the stick, you can hit the left. And now it is assigned to your left yellow. So if you unpause and hit left, you pull out a stick. <laughs> ah! And the stick is not very durable. It's already broken. Oh, no. Um, sticks are mainly used for a lot of uh, fire puzzles, which we'll get to later. But Yay. you dropped another one, so you got another stick. So that's how you set items. <laughs> um, another thing is we should practice a little more here because you're at one heart right now. Uh, so go back to the enemies. The best way to fight is not to run into them. You're, if you get if you hit again, you're gonna die. Um, so turn to the enemy, but kind of keep your distance. <laughs> there should be one over there. The, all right. So look at them. Hold ZL. That is how you lock on oh. in this game. Whenever there are enemies, you can hold the Z the Z button. Yeah. And Link will lock on and keep facing him. Now you can um, move up a little and you can hit the sword button and he'll um, attack directly at it so you don't have to run into him. And you can do that with the other enemies too. And to use your shield, so um, go ahead and lock onto another one. You hold the right bumper and it'll hold the shield up. And you can walk up and kind of like, yeah. Thankfully, these enemies, they're just starter enemies. They don't actually attack you unless you run into them. But yeah, that's a little combat tutorial. So, Great Deku Tree's waiting for us. He's behind. This way? Yep. Be careful. They're going to sprout up again. So, just watch your steps. And this is a good time if you hit start. Well, after this cutscene. But um, remember, every time you hit start, hit B and then A to save. You always want to just save, 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 save. Because... Almost every game back then, no autosave. Look, he's a mustache. Yeah, he's an old wise tree. He's gonna tell you um, a little story. He's um, been hurt. He's been having a rough time. Well, don't tell me already. I mean, look at him. He doesn't look happy. Eh. I don't think he looks. He looks old and sad. 
Or he never met another sibling. Or what? He kind of just looks like a little Mexican man. <laughs> he doesn't look sad or old. He's just like, hmm. Or maybe like uh, probably Chinese or Japanese elder. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's probably what they're going it. for. This game was made Can in Can I say no? <laughs> uh, you could, but I don't I think... I do not have enough courage. <laughs> Navi the fatty. You mess up you. <laughs> um, so yeah, after this is over, she would hit start. Uh -huh. Was it A and then B? It was B, B and then, then A, A and then A. And, A. and that's how you save. Alright, well, we're at 30 minutes here. Um, I think that's a pretty good time to end the first episode. Oh, great, I'm tired. We, uh, got our sticks, sword, and shield. How do you feel about this game? Um, it's not too bad. Yeah? Yeah. You kind of liking it? You kind of into it a little bit? Not yet. Not yet? Not well, yet. Well, we still haven't even gotten into our dungeon yet. We've yeah, really, I've done one thing. We've literally done the tutorial, but you're getting the controls down pretty good. Um, What do you think about the burp, controls? Burp, too hard? Burp, 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 burp. No, um, it's not too bad. Yeah. I don't like that you have to turn and then hit that thing, but it's fine. That's just, yeah, that's just yeah. how older games were. Well, thank you for watching, everyone that is watching. Make sure that you like, uh, comment, subscribe, leave recommendations in the comments on what older games we should play. Um, we have access to quite a few um, <laughs> on any console, you think, and we'll make sure to do that. We might continue with Ocarina of Time. Uh, we'll probably do one more episode, get her a little taste of the dungeon, and then we will move on to our next game. But until then, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.